Today I've got you four AutoCAD hacks in order to outwork anyone using that damn software. Stick till the end. So the first thing you will have to do is to get a pencil and a paper. We are taking notes. Hack number one, hands placement. Hands placement has always been the secret of mastering any software in architecture or other fields. Have to be damn really fast. So what we're talking about here is placing the right hand right on that mouse never move it and the left one on the left side of your keyboard stick to that side trust me and that will bring us to our second hack which is shortcuts you can go to command ali and go to that third one right here hit it and click on add and as you can see we have two rectangles right here here we have the autocad command like for example let's say that it's the line okay so that one you're going to type your own shortcut i'm going to type one for example as you can see right here i have the lay on lay iso and lay off line move copy and rotate we have them here in numbers this is why i choose to place my left hand on the left of my keyboard and here we can try to go and like for example i'm going to draw a line i'm going to only click one i don't have to go all the way to that l and go back i'm close to the escape i'm close to that space i'm close to control shift and everything and everything under my hand like literally under my hand i can be as fast as you can imagine and let me for example draw a rectangle right here let me offset it for example to 20 just like that i'm going to rotate it i'm going to select it you see i'm, I'm not doing anything only pressing number and what i get is a fast outcome i can also go to the layers right here go to those doors for example i'm going to draw a rectangle right here and as you can see we have a colored layer like, like it's already colored and that will bring us to our third hack which is preparing the layers whenever you open your autocad without creating any new ones you just gotta have to set all those in one click and this is where we go with the template now as you can see your drawings has to be cleared for example okay you have to have a empty file a totally empty file it's because it's going to save the way you do it so all i'm going to do is to go to the layer list okay in case you don't have the shortcut yet you can go to layer and this one it will appear so all you have to do is to create your own layers from here as you can see from this one we're going to create like for example a new layer let's say while and autocad hacks okay so this is my new layer i'm going to save this layer with everything that i have created right here so what to do is to save your file so press ctrl shift and s and here you can choose the file like for example i will be choosing a desktop but here you have to know that it's not going to be dwg it's going to be dwt as you can see like a new autocad drawing template so i'm going to choose that one i'm going to name it tags as you can see right here and hit save and there you go now all you have to do is to go to options op go there as you can see right here from files and go to template settings from here open it up and then go to q new also open it up and then go here and go to browse and as you can see we have here the auto all the autocad uh, templates right here so i'm going to choose the hex one i'm going to say open and hit ok and that's it we are all set now all you have to do is to close the autocad and i'm going to reopen it right here just in front of you guys in order to see the changes that we have made in our file so all you have to do is to create as much as details you want and hit new and check the layers right here as i promised you guys autocad hacks is already existed and that will bring us to our most important hack which is creating your own environment as you can see right here guys is uh, autocad is opening in the default way but i don't really like it for me there are so many confusing options i whenever i want to to make something or to get something to grab to grab some tool i always get confused by all of these things right here also these things so all i'm going to do is to make it as simple as possible and i, ha I have already created as you can see from here a normal workspace which is called autocad classic let me change that to autocad classic and see the changes that are made in my 
interface as you can see we got some right here some things to close i'm going to grab this one i'm going to close it it's not going to appear every single one i promise you guys you're going to do that once in a lifetime i'm going to grab that one too i'm going to close it close that one as you can see this workspace isn't confusing at all i have only here the layers and their options or properties we have here the layer list you don't have to do anything i have here my workspace options i've got something about saving files and things about the dimensions this is all you need guys in autocad in order to do your drawings but in addition to that i'm going to add the layer okay i'm going to open it up you have to take it from the side okay and just try to hit it to, to autocad wall right here and then leave it and then you'll notice that there is a small icon right here just make sure you click on it in order to make it open automatically whenever you hover your mouse over that area it's going to open up your layer uh, list and then when you go back and continue working it will close just like it did that's everything to master autocad hands placement second one shortcuts third one layout template fourth one is your environment and the fifth one subscribe and share this video wait for my photoshop and 3ds max hacks as well Listen.